Before the opening bell, U.S. indices declining on Monday, pressured by shares in energy, materials and consumer durables and apparel sectors. Decliners ahead of advancers, 72% of S&P 500 constituents trading lower yesterday. Now after the market closed, DuPont posting second quarter operating EPS of $1.18 versus $1.17 a year earlier on sales of $8.6 billion. That's down 11% year over year. And Merck and Company delivering second quarter adjusted EPS of 86 cents versus 85 cents for the previous year on sales of 9.78 billion dollars. Now Asian markets, they're mixed today. The Nikkei down 0.1 percent, the Hang Seng up 0.62 percent, while South Korea's Kospi inching higher, up 0.01 percent. China's government saying that it will step up stock buying in order to stabilize the market. European markets, they are rebounding this morning and U.S. futures calling for a positive open with the Fed announcing its rate decision tomorrow. Now, earnings release is expected for today. Aflac, second quarter EPS, seen at $1.52. Anadarko Petroleum, second quarter LPS, seen at $0.53. Cents. Well, on the economic data front, 9 o'clock in the morning, May S&PK, Schiller 20 City Index, that's due out at 9 o'clock in the morning. 9.45 in the a.m., we have July U.S. Composite PMI. And at 10 o'clock in the morning, we have the July Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index. Now, regarding the trend on indices, Trading Central says the S&P 500 sees a consolidation in place. The contract trading below its 50 period moving average. The immediate term trend is down and a further consolidation is expected. Therefore preferring short positions below 2092 with targets at 2054 and 2046 in extension. The Nasdaq seeing a consolidation in place as well preferring short positions below 4593 and the Dow Jones seeing a consolidation in place preferring short positions below 17,620.